Welcome back to the Game of Thrones mod. I just recorded about 40 minutes worth of videos, then the game crashed, and then the autosave was corrupted as well. So that's fun. Here I am, back again, as this fucking loser. What was happening in the last episode? I'm starting off salty, because that is absolutely infuriating. So essentially what happened is this idiot fucking loser, no-eyed Fred, got dysentery and died. And then I was playing as his heir, then it crashed, and then for some reason none of the autosaves worked. So there we go. So everything's going as planned. Oh my god, the game has not been capturing. <clears throat> right, so... I'm just going to carry on. You know, I'm not re-recording this video again. I'm not. I do not have enough hours in the day to sit here recording the same six months of this dude's life. If he drops down early, I'm going to be so annoyed. Between him fucking dying randomly and causing my damn game to crash. I'm not placing any bets, okay? All I want is 18 diplomacy to overthrow the Republic. I just want to be the Senate, but no. This fucking buck gormless idiot gets dysentery and dies, and then all his children die. Okay, sure, he's had a good son this time. That doesn't forgive him. Do you know how many .mp4 files are in my recycle bin right now? At least two. And that's two more than I needed to be. Thanks, Fred. Fucking loser. Right, what was I doing? Who is this person? Arrived in my court, and then vanished without a trace. It's like fucking Houdini. It's not going to be the only thing disappearing without a trace if this fucking idiot dies again. Oh, Skeet wants to be fired from the council. No, I don't want to fire Skeet. Look at he's got 32 marshal. What idiot fired Skeet? Uh, well, I can't even name him my... Why would they insist on sacking him? Right, you know what? How has this happened? Oh, I remember. Karl Popeye, when he took the Iron Islands, for some reason empowered the entire damn council. Oh, I know what's a good idea. I've, I'm sick of ruling, even though I got myself elected. Moron. Right. Okay. Well, I guess I will, um... Opponents. Uh, that's everyone. That's genuinely everyone, besides my wife. So... We've got 472 gold. Let's buy favours. Let's go to the council screen. Council. Council, oh council. I need to uh, buy favours from all of you. No. Well, fuck you, Hotho. Uh, you've got council from Ho- Oh. Hotho is the problem. You're sacked. Can I sack you? Yep, goodbye. Alright. Uh, well, he's the only person we can actually hire for Master of Ships, apparently. Uh, I'm playing a new courtier. Let's go for a Salsword. Sure, you can be a good commander, Burton. And guess what? You're my new high admiral. I'm also going to buy a favor from you before. <sighs> How about a gift and a favor? There we go. Okay. And for you, and for you, a favor. My maester can also have a favor. Just going to stack the whole damn council. Here you are, Harwin. Uh, Harwin, I sent you a gift and everything. Fine. You can be my state inquisitor. There you go. How about now? Can I buy a Right, let's just see. That might be enough. Um, do I want to lose one health? Ah, uh, no. No, I don't. That's a really dumb idea. Thank you. You will. You will. Thank you. I, yep, I agree with you. You will remember my good intentions. All right. How many people does that give us on the council? It's one, two. Oh, he's a loyalist anyway, just because I bribed him. So we don't actually need to call him a favor on him. Um, that's five, six versus four. Unless these people... No, no, no. They can't buy favours. They won't buy a favour on my wife anyway. So let's call in council support. Call in council support. Call in council support. And on you. My wife should vote for us because she's a loyalist. Um, is there anyone else we want to bribe? Maybe we just want to send some gold to our Master of Whispers anyway. We can't buy a favour now because we haven't got enough gold left. There we go. And buy favour. She'll still say no. Can any of you? Can I buy a favour from anyone? Newt? Well, I've already got a favor on Newt. What about you? So you didn't want one. What about Euron? No. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just push this law through. Titles and offices. Thank you very much. And how long till we can vote again? Undo all this damage that's been done. We've got to wait five years. Okay, my wife is pregnant. Thank God. Whew. Everything's fine, Fred. You don't need to die. You don't need to get... Last time he, he, he had stressed dysentery, ill treatment... We did lose Dishonorable, though. We lost Dishonorable very, very quickly last time. I don't think it's going to happen this time. Um, 
I hereby enact a series of laws empowering the council to act and vote on matters. You're an idiot. It's people like you why I'm having to fix everything that last person made a mistake of. Can we kill you off? Nope. This guy's still alive. He's infirm, though, so I can't imagine it'll last much longer. Now, the issue is, when he dies, we have to choose a legitimate ruler to give the land to. So when he dies, I basically have to give it to his widow or take tyranny to give it to myself. Or to keep it, I should say. Master Dalton Ironmark of Harridan Hill is clearly my vassal or by lawful tradition. Therefore, I request that you command Lord Pate Goodbrother to transfer... No? I'm going to say no because this guy doesn't like it. What about you? You, uh, you also don't like us. Yeah, no, that is just. He said no. Okay, right. In prison you go. Yes, the rebellion. Right, we can start revoking some titles. Go team, go. How many men has he got? Barely anyone. Uh, straight crossing with no morale. Probably not my smartest. Oh shit! No, he does have men. I've lied to you. Um, that's quite a large rebellion as well. He had four provinces. This is probably, probably the best time to try and stop him. Uh, they're all the same strength in this mod actually. I don't know why I'm trying to find specific guys. Let's set a fleet levy. In, uh, sorry, a fleet rally point in Lonely Light. Raise our fleet. Everybody head over. We've got 120 galleys. Holy shit. Um, well, we don't really need to raise any more in that case. Uh, sure. Declaration of War. Who is this? Black Tide. Who are you? What the hell do you want? Come on, Orkmont. Our vassal declared war on us. Okay, well... This could be an issue. We've now got uh, about 9,000 enemy men in that case. Uh, why don't we... Firstly, get some good commanders. Put you on boat. Put you on boat. <laughs> that is good grammar. We're going to boat bomb them. This is risky. Half morale. Please don't die. Please. No, don't die. Oh, God. No, that's not good at all. What happens if we lose this war? I'm not saying we will, but what happens if we do? We're overthrown, I assume. Uh, surrender. Autonomous vassals. We lose 20 fear. Okay. Oh, also he gets to decide whether or not to depose me. Yep, that's not going to happen. Bravos. About that loan. I'm going to need it again. Nice bomb troops. Uh, we need our boats again. Luckily they're still there. Alright, Captain Roger. Everybody head over here. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Siege Hammerhorn. Threaten the vassal. Uh, no, I just want to disband these boats, actually. You are forgiven, sure. Surprised that actually weren't. Normally, they just say, piss off, basically. And we had a daughter called Agnes who died. And she was capable. Capable and brilliant. That's a real shame. Okay. Siege of Nagas Hill. Let's get you on there. Lennox and my good friend Hotho. We've got idle council members. Who's not... Doing work. Uh, you can go proselytize Orkmont then, I guess. And why don't we get ourselves a new advisor, someone who's loyal, like Hilmar, for example. And what else can we do then? We can request Legion Defension and ask the Iron Throne to help us. They won't help us. Let's wait for the morale to increase, and then we're going to take the straight crossing and uh, kill them all. we would kill every single one of them. Do we have any more troops kicking around? Uh, no, essentially. Well, we have, we have no more troops that we can raise that aren't in enemy provinces. Let's put it that way. This is the trade post of Pebbleton. I can't believe this guy. This guy's getting his head put on a block. I can't believe that. Second we get a, a, a war. A, quite a just war as well. Um, can, we, can I afford 136 gold? No. Um, I owe nothing. No, fuck off. We've got to save that to give to Bravos. So I think we might as well finish off our siege here, the Siege of Hammerhorn, and then move up. Because this is capital. We've just got to keep an eye on these guys, make sure these guys don't take anything. Um, my wife got syphilis. Sure. Again, the kind trait, that's fine. I'll take the kind trait, it's not too bad, it makes our vassals like us more. And he did a good job. Bad care and good care simultaneously. Just one of the many mysteries of the Game of Thrones mod. Stop it, stop it, please. What's happening? Who's this man? One cynical comment after another. A cynical maester. Come on, hurry up. Speed up. 
Speed up with your sieges. Can we ask China to send us some siege experts? Apparently not. Margo? I don't know who you are. My wife is pregnant again. Classic. Great wife. Come on, we're almost done with this one. That should give us back some, some war score. He's at 75%, but this should, it being his capital, give us some of his children. Or some of his family, if we can capture them. 16% war score. Perfect. Alright. Let's move up. Kill him. Take back what we're owed. Pay the iron price. By paying the gold price. Um, obligate the vassal. Right, we are going to win this. We just have way too many men this time. Um, you know what? No. I'm absolutely not going to fight this man. Me, a blind man, is not going to fight... Oh, shit, we could probably win that. <laughs> um, we could possibly win that. Us, a blind man, 41.1 personal combat. Versus this guy, 40. Trained fighter versus a blind man. It's so tempting, but I can't let it. Hotho. Hotho, save me. Are you good? Yeah, Hotho. Kick his ass. The missile of Hotho is enough to make Courtier Lucas turn and run. That's right, cowards. 86%. Let's counter siege. This war is over. It's not actually over. I thought it would be over. Apparently not. Okay, our dishonor is down. Do we have any more battle war score? Apparently we do. We're at 100%. Now, the issue is, these guys have 7,000 troops. That's a bit worrying. Now, I think some of them actually might be this dude's. Oh, in fact... Oh, that was his vassal. Wait, no, he's just completely independent. What? Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I can't help but notice you, uh... You happen to have one of my vassals here. Why did that war end? I wonder if he was a vassal of this guy here. If Lord Eric was a vassal of this guy. When I declared war on this guy. He became a vassal of the Iron Throne. Then he declared war on me. For a claim that he had. On Orkmont in this case. Making him a vassal of the Iron Throne. When I won that war. He stayed a vassal. Because at this stage. He was no longer counted as a vassal of ours. Because this guy was independent. Or, or specifically this guy was independent. Huh. Well, we've lost a vassal permanently now because of some uh, less than stellar game mechanics. Never mind. Since he's a traitor, our vassals will not object. Thank you. I will be taking that. If I take anything else, yeah, I'll take that as well. And then, you know what? I'm just going to uh, have you beheaded. Rest in peace. Well, we have Hammerhorn. Skill, steel, skill, skill, skin point. Yep. Can I? Nope. Can I take... Any titles from you guys? I assume you guys fought longer in the war, but because they were his vassals, I suppose I actually can't do much about that. Well, we got some land. That was pretty fun. We're still waiting for Pike to come back to us, which shouldn't be too long now. What are we at? 81% because we lost our Dishonor, obviously. Another great day for Magister No-Eyed Fred. One rebellion after another. Your daughter, Ugly Daughter... Is mastering Ugly Daughter Whore is her full name. Should have just left it as ugly so she was ugly whore. Anyway, how's our son doing? More importantly, our great son. Look at this. Eight stewardship at the age of two. You are a great son. Have some gold. Have my... No, no. I don't really want to give him my Valyrian Steel Sword. I've got great things in line for you. And I might even get this guy to be somewhat suicidal so we can play as Wolf Great. The Great Whore. And the question is, can we carouse anymore? Because if we can keep carousing, eventually get dedicated carouser, or maybe even hedonist or something like that, or maybe even just the carousing trait. Uh, all my subjects, as per usual. This should be fun, this should be fun. Windows, um... Windows color change has just kicked in. I hope that doesn't show up in the recording, otherwise this is going to be doubly orange for other people watching it with Windows 10. Another brilliant daughter died stillborn. Wife, what are you doing? That's three. Half of our children have died stillborn. God damn it. This is her fault, obviously. <laughs> have I not... Sorry, I'll invite everyone else I forgot to invite. Are we good now? Is that everyone? Yeah, that's everyone. Alright. Sweet. Well, let's get on with it, then. So what else can we do? It says uh, we can still send crowns and which we can't. It keeps throwing me off every single time. I also built a boat. Now, was that last episode or was this this episode? No, that was last episode. Okay, right. 
Because obviously there was a lost episode from where this guy got... This, this idiot, this fucking loser, got dysentery and died. So I had to... Uh, all, and then the game crashed, so then I had to reload either way. We, we do just have an option to abdicate. We can just abdicate whenever we want. Interesting. Okay, so when our son comes of age... Oh, you know what we could do then? We need diplomacy. Why don't we buff up the... Oh, God. Which room is it that gives diplomacy then? Hmm. I have a feeling it's the palace garden. What is it upgrading into? Scenic pond hedge maze. I have a feeling it is the palace garden. I'm going to go with wine cellar so we get more children. I said I wasn't going to upgrade the house much because obviously when we overthrow the Republic and become the Senate, we will lose it all. However, in the short term, we've also got one male member of our house besides us, so I would prefer some children. Um, yeah, I'll let my maester go to Orkmont. And we have a new king on the Iron Throne. Actually, we don't. He's just been coronated. Only just been coronated. We'll play for honor. And I won. Diplomacy plus one. Oh shit, that's another diplomacy. Might not be long then. Alright, so do we want to upgrade any of these other provinces that we've since picked up in the meantime? Let's go ahead and upgrade our peasant farm here. Very OP building, added by Flame Queen's building submod. Harwin Saltcliff. Uh, you definitely don't deserve land. 135. Oh shit, we owe Bravos gold. No, I owe you nothing. Shut up. And I will take Game Master. That gives me diplomacy plus two. We've got to be almost there now, right? Three more. Three more diplomacy and we can do it. How long till we can go carousing again? Um, next year. Almost exactly one year. Alright, we'll wait then. It's a video where we buff up our diplomacy, apparently. Yep, sure, good for you. Levy-focused burglar obligations. Problem for me, I suppose, because it means he's going to whisk away more of my troops during wars. Alaska whore, you are terrible. She's just homely. Your Excellency, Andric Greysong has been defeated. His reign of misrule has come to an end. Stability has been brought to old weight. Lord Will Greysong is there. Shall henceforth rule Harlor as your lord. I am fine with that because he is Gilded Reaver. Speaking of which, how are we looking? Ah, uh, not much change. Still four provinces. Uh, well, five, I suppose, if you include Lonely Light. Did, wait, didn't Pike convert? Oh, no, wait. That was in the lost save game, I remember. We do have a lot of work ahead of us trying to convince the... Uh, the Rams are like us a bit more. Hilmar the Black. Uh, how are you not dead? Infirm. 64 years of age. You sure I can't kill you? Plot to kill. 54% chance. Well, I guess we won't worry about it. He'll die sooner or later. I'd give him three more years. At most. Average age to die in a Game of Thrones. Well, in, in CK2 in general. If you take into account the, the mean time to die. Rolled against just their age. Is uh, 71. This guy's also infirm. So I'd have, to be honest, I'd have expected him to die already. But we'll wait and see. Um, For too long you've restricted the political influence of your vassals. The time has come to give the power, council more power. Submit to this demand peacefully or face the consequences. I'm going to say, piss off, you loser. Grimton Dagon. Come on. House Dagon. You're supposed to be my loyal vassals. Just the time. Alright, so we've got this guy who wasn't our vassal, but... You're not our vassal! How the hell are you allowed to join in this? <sighs> this game. This game blows my mind. Well, we've got 3,000 men to deal with now. Um, How many ranked men can we raise? Probably enough to win this, just from Pike. No, no, no. Go that way, then move around. So they're going to catch us 65 men. Disband those. Some men now. I think I'm going to hire one lot of mercenaries, and I think actually that'll be enough. It's risky, but obviously we've been buffing up um, buffing up our peasant farms, which gives them apparently plus 550% morale. Excuse me? Yeah, no, that mod was way more broken than I remember. That's only for that province, and that province is actually only... Well, that one's not giving us any men at all right now. So... Nothing to worry about immediately in terms of balance, I guess. How many men can we get here? Probably not as many as I'd have liked in hindsight. 7,000 men? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um. Everybody on the boats. Everybody on the boats. Let's move over here. Pike's a silly place. We don't want to go there anyway. They probably can't siege Pike either. 
No, absolutely not. They can't siege it. Too many men. Um, they still outnumber us quite heavily here. God damn it. I'm trying to save money to give to Bravos, and you guys are... You guys are declaring wars. Although these were the guys I wanted to revoke the titles from, because they're the last sort of ironborn vassals. So in theory, we get rid of these guys, we revoke their titles, and then we give them to gilded... Reaper gilded Kraken vassals. Much, much higher chance of conversion then. Alright, we've got 8,000 men. Let's see if we can bait them over. If they take a straight crossing, they lose. And they can't actually win unless they take a straight crossing at some stage. Now, obviously, we can outsmart the AI just based on the fact that we're a human being, and the AI is pretty bad. Also, their armies aren't merged. They might have some pretty bad commanders. Some of them might go, you know, different directions as well. Let's retake my trade post. Is it seriously going to take you 46, sorry, 36 days to kick this one man out of our trade post? Has he got a frigging minigun or something? Has he sat in his goddamn panzer tank? Good lord. <laughs> I don't know how that's even possible. My dear, I can't refuse you anything. Plus 10% fertility, absolutely. You know what? We might even be able to pay off this line during this war because we're still making a pretty decent amount of profit. Winter is coming to an end. That will help buff up our gold even more than what it already is. Siege of Nettle Bank. No, no. Hmm. Let's keep an eye on them. We'll just follow them for now. If they move across, we win. We've just got to play these straight crossings sensibly. Hiccups, please. Right, so we take the capital. That won't take much longer. Feels like I'm constantly sieging this province. I feel like this is the fourth or fifth time I've sieged this damn province. Call for my physician at once. Absolutely. Oh my god, my... Awesome genius son has dysentery. Oh shit. No pun intended. Call for a court physician at once. Please. He did it. Successful treatment. That gives him minus two health. You can survive this. You're a genius. We had a daughter called Rhonda. Another brilliant daughter. That's like the fourth one. Although two have died. Um. Fussy, sure. Rhonda is fine. Alright, we have Siege's capital. Now let's go over here. Take this province here. Shouldn't take us too long. That should give us a decent amount of war score. Now. Oh. My relations with King Quain are strained. To uphold the virtue of diligence is vital to show your loyalty and steadfastness. I bend my knee to the liege. His opinion improves with me by 10 points. We gain 20 prestige. Okay, that's a good event, I guess. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Made it sound like it was really bad. Again, they move east, where we can trap them on this island. We win. They head to Pike. We win, because we can go around to here and head across. Assuming we can get there before they move up to Pebbleton, which they might. Hmm. We might be able to win no matter what. Because they have to take a straight crossing onto a larger island from this stage. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, they siege way more than I thought here. So we're going to have to wait for Volmark to fall, which won't be much longer. Month and a bit. Alright, there we go. Are you going to move or are you go they're going to keep sieging? Well, the question is then, do we take the straight crossing? Okay, we got, sorry, we got to counter siege these seven men. Alright, there we go. We're good. Right. So the question is, do we take the straight crossing? Now, what's that going to do for us? Taking a straight penalty, which gives us around 20% loss. 20% of 8,000 is actually quite a lot of men, now that I think about it. Hmm. Do we want to do that? I mean, that is 1,600 men we're going to lose crossing that province. Or essentially, you calculate that we're sacrificing 1,600 men, roughly. Um, obviously, it depends more on your army composition. Now, our army is almost entirely heavy infantry, which is why I say it's pretty much 20% of our army. Um, it would give us almost equal men. And I think our commanders are probably better. Let's do it. I'm going to take the straight crossing against my better judgment. Well, their, their flanks fell very, very quickly. Our center fell. 
our left flank fell. Now it's our right flank versus their centre. Oh shit, they actually won that. Oh, this game. Oh, this game. Why did I not just raise boats and send them? Okay, sorry Bravos, you're going to have to wait. That was very, very close though. That was just me being lazy, thinking I could win a war that I uh, definitely could not. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? So we're going to land here, and just uh, move over a province. We did kill off a lot of their menace, this is over now. Um, merge these, wait for the morale to increase, shouldn't be too long. They're also going to reinforce just about as fast as uh, the morale increases, so... So they are ready to move now. And we have inherited Pike. He died. Shall revert to the Magister. We're getting five tyranny. That shouldn't take too long to disappear. Now this time we're going to sweep it up. No problem. 1% war score. Perfect. Just what I was after. Um, why don't we kill their armies? Just in case we capture them in battle. Save counter sieging first. 18%. Problem is there's no battle war score to win now. So we might just have to counter siege everything which will take forever my daughter ugly whore maybe fussy that's fine whatever my wife is pregnant again uh, that's a brave move from somebody it's a bold move cotton i oh, liege wanted something there but i didn't have even time to respond to it council slots we need an advisor uh i'll really take any loyalists at this stage any loyalists uh, there's a couple now, can we change any more laws while we're here? Not in a civil war. After the civil war is done, we can change some more laws. You know what? We'll get this done in this video. Some nice jolly music there. <laughs> Inspirational. Yeah, we will be able to pay off this loan as soon as possible. But I like to get that dealt with. I really don't like having a... Uh, 1,200 gold. Oh, God, shit. We've already got to pay interest. This is what I was worried about. So we've got to pay interest, which now means we've got to wait even longer. Now, we can't exactly... Oh, that's good. We exactly can't train our son in uh, combat at all. So let's have our master. Oh, Sky is still around. Thank God. Let's have him training children. He actually might be able to get our son some sort of uh, martial trait. Because we are blind. Does not make for a good uh, combat master. Well, this is going to take... Just about forever. I'm going to say this war is over. This is just going to be me sieging for the next four years. So, thank you for watching. Whew. Next episode. By the next time you see this guy here, he will be an old, feeble man. Who I will, uh... Who I will kill off. Somehow. I'll try and find a way to kill him off. Oh, we can just abdicate, can't we? So we get to play as... Wolf Great the Great. I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. We're going to get ready to play as this guy. He's going to be the one to overthrow the Republic. He's going to be the one to get a pet dragon. I'm calling it now. He's getting a dragon. We're going to get this man a dragon. And then we're going to burn just about everything. Who needs wildfire when you've got, you know, a big old wildfire lizard? That's the name of the next episode. Goodbye.